Hi, Chris Hughes here from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Today we'll be discussing the SysDig 2023 Cloud Native Security and Usage Report. They had some interesting findings in here that I wanted to discuss. They found that despite the push for zero trust across the industry, 90% of granted permissions in cloud native environments aren't used. This is definitely alarming when you think that credential compromise is one of the leading attack vectors that malicious actors use. If they're able to compromise those credentials, they're able to abuse those permissions that these accounts have. And that's alarming because 90% of the permissions that they have applied aren't even applicable to the role or the individual, so they can be abused by malicious actors. They also found that 87% of container images have either high or critical vulnerabilities, which is up from 75% last year. What's interesting here is that they found that the teams are well aware of these issues. The issue that we have here is development teams simply cited that they have a lack of prioritization and a lack of incentive to address these vulnerabilities. As we all know, development teams are kind of incentivized to focus on developing new features and products and, and applications and services and so on, not really incentivized to go back and address uh, vulnerabilities from a performance evaluation perspective. And teams also simply just don't have the bandwidth. They have too many things that they're being demanded of them, and they simply don't have the bandwidth to go back and address these vulnerabilities. Another last finding that they had, not really surprising, they found that misconfigurations remain the biggest culprit for cloud security incidents. And as we all know, this has been cited by many other organizations like Gartner, for example, that 99% of uh, cloud data breaches and cloud security incidents will be on the, due to the customer and due to customer misconfiguration. So we have a situation where organizations are rushing into the cloud environment, expediting their cloud adoption, but they're not really bringing the workforce along with that journey. They don't really have the competencies, the patience, or time, or the resources to go back and actually implement proper hygiene in these cloud environments. And this is likely to become remain an issue, I should say, for several years moving forward. That's it. Stay resilient out there. Search for and subscribe to It's 505 wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.